Hi friend, Potato here. A few weeks ago I posted a video about my Japanese study routine. On average, I think I spend around 10 hours a week studying Japanese. So I thought, what if I spent 10 hours studying Japanese in one day? I feel like that would be an interesting challenge to see how my brain and study abilities hold up to it. Lately, I feel like I have not been progressing as much academically. I am definitely getting better at expressing myself as well as understanding others. And my vocabulary is growing quite quickly. Yet, I do not do much with the N3 level in particular. I rarely use any grammar books or other materials for it. My goal for this challenge is to catch up on my N3 as well as use some materials that I rarely use. Let's see how well I can do it. Yesterday I organized all the books for today as well as I wrote a rough time and a goal on each. I also stole this stopwatch from my boyfriend to track the time. Unfortunately, it only goes up to 99 minutes and 59 seconds, so I will have to divide the study into 6 sessions of 100 minutes. So, I woke up 26 minutes ago, made myself a cup of tea, and it seems like my study body for the day is my yesterday's migraine. I'm starting today with Nihongo Somatome Goi. I had this book since July, but this is the first time I'm using it. I think this book series is meant for pre-JLPT exam revision, as they are all divided in two weeks. For instance, this book has six weeks and you are meant to do about two pages per day. My plan for today is to complete unit one or week one. I finally took a shower and I think I feel a bit better. I think I'll be taking quite a lot of breaks today, to be honest. I'm finishing up with this vocabulary book right now and I got 14 out of 20 on the quiz at the end of the unit. I didn't have breakfast today, I never do. It would instantly make me sleepy, so I decided not to play with fire. Now I'm getting really hungry, so I ordered some food and weirdly enough for me, kanji usually requires the least amount of brain power. I also have Nihongo Somatome for kanji, and I actually completed the first week sometime around August, so I'm going to review it and I'm planning to do week 2 as well later today. Hopefully food comes soon. First 100 minutes done and now I'm going to watch an episode of anime while I eat my breakfast slash lunch to make up for a late start. I feel so much better after having some food. I'm going to finish up this kanji book right now and I think I might also do some online quizzes to check where I'm at on my N3 level. I had to stop recording and put my phone on charge but I have finished two units of kanji book and I also sneaked in another episode of Black Clover after I did a few quizzes. Now I think I'm finally ready to do some grammar. I do not know what's going on with me today, whether it is lack of sleep, energy, or I'm just stupid, but the grandma is really doing a number on me. When did N3 become such a pain? Even the vocabulary. I'm literally translating every single sentence with ChatGPT. I might need to take a break before I can do another chapter, because today's plan was to do chapter 3.1 and 3.2. By the way, for those of you who watched my Japanese study routine video, here is my bingo for this week. And today is probably going to be the day I fill out most of them. It is starting to get a bit dark outside and interestingly, I do not feel too bad energy and motivation wise. I haven't touched kanji look and learn in almost half a year, so I thought it would be a good idea to go to the very beginning and highlight every word that I feel like I don't 100% remember. There are some very useful words in the beginning which seemed really unnecessary to learn two years ago, but now I think I might be ready to use them in my everyday speech.
this second grammar session to be honest feels a bit better i don't know if the grammar points became easier or my brain is finally ready to consume more difficult information but it definitely does feel better although i keep making a lot of very unnecessary mistakes It has already been more than five hours since I started studying, so I think it is time for a bit of a longer anime break. Which isn't really a break, since I still count it to the 10 study hours as I'm watching anime in Japanese. But I also am putting all of the flashcards together while enjoying the Black Clover episodes. I feel much more energized now after dinner. I'm ready to finish this challenge. I grabbed another grammar book, Yomo N4, that I've had for over a year now, but I never really got into it. I think it will be a great exercise to review N4 grammar and see if there is anything I need to revise more thoroughly. Another book that I haven't finished last year is Kanzan Master N4 Listening. I have just a bit left, so I'm going to try and finish it up today. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to finish up the listening book and it's getting quite late now. My brain is really not braining. I want to do something relatively easy, so I have less than an hour left after the shower. I'm trying to do some kanji writing now, but every kanji is uglier than the previous one. I don't know if it's a weird position because I'm recording or if there is an issue with my nerves and my hand is getting numb, but this is really embarrassing. <sighs> my shower took longer than I thought as I was contemplating giving up this challenge. And then I failed to record 35 minutes of me reading Spike's family manga. But this is the last book in the pile and I have only 20 minutes left of the 10 hour challenge and there are only 20 minutes left of today. So I don't think I have time to review chapter 1 to 3, so I'm just going to do chapter 4 now. Yay! I did it! I cannot believe I actually managed to do 10 hours of study today and do all that before 12 am. Oh my god. <music> Reflecting back on yesterday, first of all, I want to say that I'm very proud of myself. I actually thought it would be a much harder challenge. I did not feel as overwhelmed as I thought I would be despite not getting enough sleep the night before. In the end, I did study for 600 minutes or 10 hours in one day. I spent 95 minutes on vocabulary, 133 minutes on kanji, 147 minutes on grammar, 63 minutes on listening, 35 minutes on manga reading, and 127 on watching anime and making flashcards. Looking back at it, it was a successful challenge. First of all, it did give me a bit of a study boost in regards to N3. Secondly, I realized that if I fall behind, it won't take too long for me to get back on my feet. I also learned that I'm capable of being productive and learning for extended hours, which is fascinating to me, as I'm usually very bored, restless or lazy when it comes to studying or doing other important things. Also, I think recording the challenge really helped me as I was unable to touch my phone. I didn't waste any time on social media procrastinating, which probably gave me an energy and motivation boost. So if you need to study for extended period of time, record yourself in a time lapse. I actually think that I would do this challenge again, probably using different materials and tweaking the schedule around, making this challenge even more intense. I definitely recommend you do it as well, especially if you feel unproductive or if you are feeling like you are not learning fast enough or if you just want to see how much you can learn in 10 hours. I wanted to thank you for sticking with me until the end. Please leave a like, subscribe and tell me if you would study for 10 hours in the comments. Bye!